Good day, fellow space lovers. My name is Alex Opria, and today I'm going to talk to you about the solar system. Now, no planet in the solar system would exist without the sun. You know, the surface temperature of the sun is approximately 8,000 degrees Kelvin, enough to melt cast iron. Sounds terrifying, doesn't it? Well, the first and rocky planet, and is the closest to the sun, Mercury. Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, and it is battered in craters, all because of asteroids striking the planet. Venus is the second planet from the sun. It's like a sister to Earth. It too has an atmosphere, and it is roughly the same size and weight. But unlike other planets, Venus rotates in the opposite direction, and very slowly. The surface, the surface of Venus is hidden under a thick layer of clouds, and scientists attend to research apparatus to study them. It flew there for a whole four months, but couldn't even hold out for two hours. The device exploded in the atmosphere because the pressure on Venus is almost 100 times greater than on Earth. It has a high temperature rate. Over there, on Venus, it is always twilight, and acid rain is constantly falling with raging hurricanes and lightning storms and erupting volcanoes. Of course, next up, the planet you live on, Earth. Planet Earth is, planet Earth is really actually the planet that we live on, and the only planet known to have life as we know it. As you could see, Earth has one moon. You may think that the moon dominates our night sky, but in reality, it's really far away. 30 Earths come from inside that distance. And if you're going to, tra to travel in your car about 100 miles per hour, it would take you about 168 days to get there. Now, and Mars here, Mars has two moons, Phobos and Deimos really tiny. You're like, ah, they're actually kidnapped asteroids from the Kuiper Belt. No, they don't need rescue them. So Jupiter here, Jupiter is pretty cool because it has four moons. One's volcanic and one's icy. Over here is Jupiter's moon Europa. Ju Jupiter's moon Europa, it's a really famous moon, and some people think there's an ocean under the ice beneath, beneath the surface. The, yeah, there, some scientists think there's an ocean underneath the icy surface of it. And also, visit Titan. Saturn. Saturn is my favorite planet because it has the rings. The rings are consisted of ice particles raging in size from snowballs to the Empire State Building. Saturn's two famous moons, Titan and Enceladus, are really cool. Enceladus has water geysers that shoot out from its south pole, and Titan is the only moon in the solar system known to have a liquid atmosphere. There's also a probe that went to Saturn, the cassini Huygens spacecraft, and it had a passenger the Huygens space probe, which landed on Titan. Cassini also touched the ice plumes of Enceladus. Uh, while Cassini was doing the flyby of Saturn, it, it dis discovered some lakes, Latin lakes, including one not far from the Huygens landing site. Over here is Uranus, and, that, and there's a famous moon of it, Miranda. There's also a kid in my second grade class named Miranda. Uranus, Uranus is likely a comet because unlike other planets, it spins on its side. Necessarily, some people got this killed by a collision with a huge body the size of Earth. And then last but not least, Neptune. Neptune is the eighth planet. Neptune is the last planet from the sun and it's similar to Uranus. It's sun, it has a Another moon, Triton, which has ice plumes on it, similar to Saturn's moon Enceladus. <laughs> Neptune has the fastest winds in the entire solar system, even faster than Jupiter's. So they sometimes exceed 2,100 kilometers per hour. Neptune is still unexplored and holds a lot of surprises for discoverers. Over here, Pluto, this is a dwarf planet. 
the, the Pluto was a dwarf planet in 2006, but then sign, yeah, space lovers were devastated in 2006 when Pluto was demoted from a planet to a dwarf planet. Those that were able to accept its fate were awarded in 2015 when the New Horizon spacecraft passed by the hunk of ice and rock, revealing it acts more like a true planet than a dwarf planet. The data says Pluto has a gravity strong enough to hold on to its atmosphere and deflect charged particles from solar wind. Some scientists think that there might be a new ninth planet outside, the, outside our solar system, more beyond Pluto. Thank you so much for watching.